Predicting reactions can be a tricky business. It's difficult to know how to make things come together and come up with a product that makes sense. But reactions can be classified. And one class of reactions is synthesis reactions. Some people call them combination reactions, where you have a general form of one chemical being added to another chemical to make a third chemical, which is different from either of the original chemicals, and is a single product. And this is what you call a synthesis reaction. So I have several examples here on the board of some synthesis reactions. Uh, one example is when you have a metal plus a non-metal. When you do that, that makes a salt. So a metal might be, for example, sodium, chlorine gas, to make table salt. Very exciting reaction. I'm not going to demonstrate that one because it's pretty dangerous. Metallic oxide plus water, that makes a base, or at least a basic solution, provided that it is soluble in water. In this case, we have magnesium oxide plus water to make magnesium hydroxide. Other metallic oxides would do similar things. Sodium oxide, calcium oxide, very other, uh, various other metallic oxides would do much the same thing. Now, non-metallic oxide plus water, however, makes an acid. Okay, so when you have non-metallic oxide, such as uh, dinitrogen pentoxide, when that is bubbled through water, it's a gas, you make nitric acid. Okay, so that's one class, one type of synthesis reaction. Another type is when you have a metallic oxide plus a non-metallic oxide. When you combine those two things, what you end up with is a salt. In this case, magnesium carbonate is formed from the reaction of magnesium oxide and carbon dioxide. This has a connection to another type of reaction, which we won't discuss in this video, and that is when you add an acid to a base, you make water and salt. So this is simply the same thing, but without the water. So we've seen a few examples written out of reactions which follow the pattern of a synthesis reaction or a combination reaction. Let's look at one and see what it actually looks like when we perform the reaction. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some calcium oxide, also known as lime. This is an important ingredient in the uh, construction industry for making cement. I'm going to take about half of this bottle, it's a 100 gram bottle, I'm going to take about 50 grams of it and put it in a 100 milliliter beaker. And I'm going to add some water to it so that we can perform this reaction that's called the slaking of lime. And so what we're going to be doing is we're going to slake the lime by adding the water to it to make it into calcium hydroxide. It's a very reactive compound. It releases a large amount of heat when we perform the reaction. So we'll also be watching the thermometer while we do the reaction. So here goes. We're going to add some water to some calcium oxide. So as you can see, it's rapidly getting very, very hot. It's already over 63 degrees.